You've had an experience with God. It was wonderful. Praise God, my Lord Jesus. Thank you so much. Do not share these with those who don't want, those who are not interested in having anything to do with God. Do not throw pearls to the pigs. You know that this is a secret. If you are at school, you have friends, colleagues, etc. If you are there to study, you are there to study. If you have to do, you know, a lesson, a group work or something, it's fine. But if by any chance they start talking about religion in church, you can say, please, I'm here to study. I'm not here to talk about religion. You have yours, I have mine. You keep yours, I keep mine. That's it. And you end it there. Be rude even. It's better for you to give a slap of truth than to pretend and be giving lying kisses. And you are going to end up being harmed. Amen, friends? Do you understand what I'm saying? You have to protect your faith. Keep your faith. The fight, fighting the good fight is exactly that. You are permanently, just as you breathe, you take in oxygen at all times. At all times, you have to be fighting against doubts that harass your faith, your life. Every moment, every time, because thoughts come like this, thoughts come like that, and in your mind, you have to resist them. You have to cast them out. You have to say no to them. I, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I believe in what is written and so on and so forth. I mean, you defend yourself. You protect yourself. This is the secret, dear friends, because your faith is your life. Your life depends on your faith. Your life depends on your faith. If you lose it, or if it is contaminated and gets ill, you, you fall. You won't resist, because you can only live through faith.